said something really interesting about you never want to have to say no to a director. And you want to find people with a real vision, with real passion for the project that they're making. But does your job involve saying no sometimes? Oh, does it involve collab? What's time. that collaboration like? Sophia says no a lot. Have, I literally have shirts that just say no. It's just like I just walk I around with signs. No. I, okay, I just walk okay. around with signs that just, just kind I'm of like, point here. stop asking. No. Stop no. asking because no. the answer yeah. is no. Well, I think it also has to do with the experience of the director. I mean, like, you know, I've been on shoots where a, the director, we'd go scouting and the director's like, it'd be great if we could just get like, like a techno crane and, and light from like, light the whole street. And it's like, that's, that'd be, that would be great. That You're right, but great. that's not this movie. Right. There's ways, there's ways to deal with it. Yeah. Like you basically say what the situation is. On after school, we never said no. We, we cut traditionally on film, like, and then like, but what changed was when we did Martha, Antonio produced Martha. So we had some perspective. So like we were fighting and killing ourselves but to give him But you guys trust wanted. each other. Of course we that's, do. Then, then, that's the like blood brothers. Yes. You know? so but we, like, that took 10 years. If someone so says real. no, and then you know, or you can't, or like, all right, for real, like we can't do this. It's a trust there. Like, right. you know right. what, I trust it's you. Not, yeah. It's not a pushback of, well, why not? Just no. Let me see the, yeah, right. yeah, yeah no, let me see we, the line. this way. We had no, we went to do Simon Killer. I moved to Paris a week after Martha. Tony hands me an outline. We have a great, great investor who just supported, like he was on the floor with us. And, but literally, Tony's like, I want to shoot in the Louvre. I want to shoot in the Museum d'Orsay. We shot privately for free in two weeks, they proved it. Like, walked through the, like everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything is possible. I agree. Everything, if you love somebody, you can do whatever it is. And it's like, it's, that's how you have to treat it. Like, I think that's the secret. You just say yes to It's where, where are the no comes <laughs> What's up? No, I think he's into, I just, I, I envy you. I think you just have a very special situation. Cause I we think, didn't have it special from the beginning. We used the same crew for eight years too. We no, weeded saying, out yeah. personalities right. and stuff. But I agree with that. I mean, I, I approach everything as like, Whatever that director wants, I'm gonna try to get it, and yes, and yes, that, yes. it just doesn't always but work it, out that way. But it does. You say it no, does. or you say we can't, because you know you don't. I don't start with no. I just always start with I. We can't. Like you know, it, it's at a, it is it is at some level of a loss. If we do this, then we won't have the ability to do this thing or whatever. Right. And or then it's, it's like, we'll do, okay, we'll try again. So you sometimes you get such a push where you have to get to like. No, like right. no, this can't happen. Well, I, I think basically where I was coming from before was I think that we've probably all had experiences with with uh, directors or producers that we've worked for who don't have as full an understanding of like where the money should go or where it can be actually best utilized for the best of the film, and then all of a sudden you are fighting your own team to try to make what they want to happen. Right. And, you know, those are really hard lessons to learn, but I think that that does come into play once you have built a trust with directors that you're working with, that it's like, if I say that we really can't make this happen, you just implicitly understand that I have killed exhausted. myself yes, right. to try to make Every, it happen. Right. And um, I mean, I think a lot of it is about respect. I've had some amazing experiences with directors who trust like that you are doing everything within your power to actually get them what right. they need. Mm -hmm. And that's an amazing relationship. And then I am like now in a situation where directors completely don't trust anything they say. They, we say they've produced their own films. They think we're like an endless faucet for money. Right. And they always are like looking around the other corner for, for things that we're saying are just not possible or not good. And it's a terrible, yeah. incredibly upsetting relationship when you put years into something yeah. and someone keeps um, undermining. Undermining, yes. Yeah. So 